Inflation has reached record highs and may continue to rise. In such a volatile atmosphere, we asked Kroll's Managing Director, Carla Nunes, for some guidance and clarity. Carla, to start, an admittedly broad question, but how did we get here? And is there any end in sight? We have to go back to the outbreak of COVID-19 in 2020. Central banks around the globe and governments took unprecedented measures. We had massive amounts of liquidity flooding the system. On the flip side, we had governments that implemented fiscal policies, stimulus policies that were of the size of helping fight a world war. There is pent up demand by consumers, flush with cash because of all these incentive programs. On the flip side, we had huge global supply chain constraints. You had this disconnect between what was being supplied and what was demanded by consumers, you get higher prices. We fast forward to February of 2022 and we have Russia invade Ukraine. Central banks were caught off guard. They thought that this was going to be temporary. And now they are having to raise interest rates at an unprecedented pace to try to fight that inflation. Based on all that, what's the impact on cost of capital? How about company and fund valuations? We're in a world where we actually are looking at an inverted yield curve. So short-term rates are higher than long-term rates. Our building blocks, we start with the risk-free rate, which is going to be higher. The other element that could be higher is equity risk premium. There's more uncertainty. We have more uncertainty about economic growth, more uncertainty about earnings for companies. All of this could combine to have a variability around your expected cash flows, which makes equity risk higher than it was before. And then the other component is the cost of debt. And I'm sure a lot of companies are seeing this already. They're seeing their financing costs going up. You might see less M&A activity. It's gonna be more expensive to buy another company. You could see valuations going down. Can you isolate some areas, Carla, companies should focus on now and moving forward? What is your revenue growth? Are you growing with inflation? Are you able to pass on the price increases of your raw materials, transportation, uh, and all these added costs onto your customers. That's part number one. But even if you were able to do that, is your margin being compressed? In other words, are your costs rising at a higher rate uh, than, than your revenue? And you have to think about the consumer impact of having significantly high inflation than they were uh, feeling before and for a long time because what that's going to do is decrease demand for their products and that's going to hurt margins as well so there's a lot of pressure on earnings for the next couple of years finally carla what are the benefits of working with kroll in this environment we are considered thought leaders in the space of cost of capital and there's a reason for that because we spend countless hours uh, analyzing the data both on economic indicators and financial markets on a global scale. We're not limited to the United States. And then on top of that, we actually look at the latest academic research in the field. And we try to bring that academic research into practical use. We wanna share our knowledge, our research with the general public. That's what we do. Stay ahead with Kroll and learn more about thought leaders like Carla Nunes by visiting Kroll.com.